Welcome to Speed Vision. Which is more difficult to train, a race car driver or a fighter pilot? Most of the time, flying in the sky will look cooler than running on the ground, and it will be more difficult to control. But F1 drivers are an exception, and some people may feel puzzled. After reading this story you will find the answer. Nick de Vries is 27 years old and comes from the Netherlands. He is three years older than Verstappen. Before that, he had not run an F1 race as an official driver. But at the World Karting Championship 12 years ago, Nick not only won the championship, but was also invited to join McLaren's junior driver program. That year he was a leader among his peers, a veritable genius driver. In 2014, Nick won the annual championship after three seasons in Formula Renault. At this time, he was 19 years old and did not show the talent to directly enter F1. He started to participate in GP3 step by step and hoped to have an outstanding performance in the higher level F2. But on the way to the world's Formula One arena, there is no shortage of talented drivers. In the F2 field in 2018, a McLaren youth trainee won the second driver of the year. The driver completely overwhelmed Nick and finally snatched the official McLaren driver's seat that should have belonged to him. This driver is Lando Norris. So Nick chose to fight in F2 for another year and at the same time participated in the World Endurance Championship to gain experience. Hard work paid off and in the 2019 season Nick won the F2 championship as he wished. But some people think that Nick was able to win the Drivers' Championship in F2 because the top three in the 2018 season, Russell Norris and Albon, all went to F1. The implication is that they think he is a parallel champion, so Nick once again failed on the way to the F1 field. After being unable to enter F1, many drivers will choose to compete in other events and gradually drift away from F1 events. But Nick told himself not to give up easily. It is with this belief that Nick chose to represent Mercedes in the Formula E, the highest haul of electric vehicles, in the 2020 and 2021 seasons. The level of Formula E may not be as high as F1, but the trembling in the game is definitely more intense than F1. And God seems to have seen his efforts. After winning the Formula E championship, Nick got the attention of the Williams team. In Monza in 2022, Nick temporarily replaced Albon, who was absent due to illness, to participate in the F1 Italian Grand Prix. The Dutchman drove a Williams racing car into the scoring area, and he did not lose the wind in many confrontations with the Chinese driver Guan Yuzhou, holding the ninth place. Compared to Latify, Nick's performance can be called a miracle. At the end of the game, Nick was too tired to get up. Many people think it is because F1 is more difficult to control than FE. But if you know him, you must understand that this race may be Nick's last chance to enter F1. His spirit must be very tense, and he needs to use all the skills and experience he has learned in the past. Finally, at the age of 27, Nick won a valuable seat in the World Formula One Championship for himself. The new F1 season in 2023 is about to start, and I hope Nick de Vries will have a wonderful performance in the AlphaTauri team. Well, this episode is coming to an end, and everyone is welcome to leave comments. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching.